Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are trying a very strange product that I just had to try for myself. It's the Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin Blurring Balm Powder. And on the box it says, for face and eyes with Upsolite technology. So, <laughs> this product is so weird and I think everyone on YouTube is confused by it. I haven't seen anyone being like, oh yeah, I know exactly what that's for. Like literally no one knows what to do with this. But I simply cannot resist <laughs> trying it for myself. Um, I've only seen two videos on this so far. Um, Morgan Turner did a video on this and a wear test, which was really helpful because at the time, there were no other videos like in my feed about this product and she said she liked it but she was really confused about it um, but she does have dry skin so that helped me know like this could work for dry skin but I guess there's some like prep work involved um, and then I saw Teresa's dad do a get ready with me with this product and she also <laughs> was like what the heck is this but she did like how it looked after so yeah those are the only two videos I've seen so far but I simply had to get this because first of all this packaging this is genius she put a little spatula in the cap so if you're like a working makeup artist or just someone that doesn't like to put their fingers in product you can use the spatula to pick it up and I feel like this is a metal spatula I can't tell but see how it makes that metal sound so yeah it's like not super heavy but it does have like a nice weight to it and I love that there's a place for it in the cap so you don't like have to worry about losing it or whatever so this is like a compact but you open it like a twist off and this is the shade that I got. I got the shade 3. As you can see, I swatched it already because I just got this yesterday, I think. Um, I ordered it online. You can only order it online in Canada at least. And at first I was like, wow, that looks way too dark for me. But I swatched it and I put a bit like right here and it disappeared into my skin. So I figured it should be fine. I got this shade because it's described as a light to medium with neutral undertone and that's what I've been going for lately because if I just go light, um, it's usually not good. <laughs> it has to be a neutral undertone and I believe this was like the only one that wasn't like the super fair, like the shade one I guess that was described with neutral. So even though it's light to medium and I don't think I have a medium skin tone, I feel like this is gonna work for me anyway. Especially like now that it's getting into the warmer months. I, I don't I don't think I'll get a tan, but you never know. So yeah, we're just gonna um, put this on today. I decided not to use a primer because this product can actually be used as a primer, so it doesn't make sense to me to put a primer on and then another product that could be used as a primer. Um, but I do have like all my skincare on and I have a very moisturizing face cream on. It's the Sunday Riley CEO, which I've actually been really liking. So I think my skin is like prepped good enough for this. And from what I could tell in the swatch, it didn't feel like it was going to be super drying on me anyway. So, but the thing with um, the Upsolite technology, which is like written everywhere, like it's even written here on the compact itself. It's on the box. It's made sure that it's mentioned everywhere that there's Upsolite in this. So from what I understood, this is like a Swedish technology and it's an ingredient that like kind of absorbs your oils throughout the day but not in the way that it like you know sucks all the moisture out of your skin it's like a how do I explain this like a 
adaptable ingredient, if that makes any sense. So I'll just read to you what it says on the box because I'm sure you're still confused because <laughs> I'm just rambling. But um, it says a texture reducing, coverage boosting, blurring balm to powder that balances oils throughout the day while maintaining hydration. So I think if it hadn't said that part, I would have thought this product was just not for me and I wouldn't want it to have tried it but I like that it says maintaining hydration. So it says powered by cutting edge, blurring Swedish technology, Upsolite visually creates a soft focus effect on pores and fine lines. How to tap on with fingers to smooth and blur textured areas. So that's all it says on the box, but I went on the Sephora app and there's like a lot more on here. So it says um, under like the how to use, it says to prime using a universal or tinted shade. So this product does come in a universal shade, which is just like a sheer, you know, the same formula, but no tint basically. It says, yeah, to prime, tap and blend with fingers, to prime eyelids or complexion, to highlight and contour. So using a tinted shade, at least two shades lighter or deeper than your skin tone. Apply with fingers or a brush to brighten and sculpt. So this is saying that you can use this basically as a cream highlight and contour. Not highlight in the sense of like, you know, shimmery, but like a light based highlight. Um, to set foundation, using universal or a tinted shade, Tap on with fingers or a dense brush to set complexion. That's strange. And to add sheer coverage, using a tinted shade, press and roll in an even layer into textured or oily areas. And that's the way I feel like I'm going to be using this product. I don't feel like this is something I want to like put all over my face in an even layer. This is something like I figured when I'm like running late and I just want to go out of the house, which like doesn't really happen. <laughs> but I don't know, sometimes I like to put makeup on just when I'm like going to a cafe or whatever. I don't do, I don't go out like partying anymore. <laughs> but um, that's like how I figured I'd use it. Like I'm, I just want to do like a really quick look. I would just pat this in like areas where I get most redness and be out the door. I figure I could use it like that. We'll have to see though. To set and add coverage, using a tinted shade, press and roll through the T-zone and tap to build additional coverage where needed. And then it says note, as you wear it throughout the day, this unique formula adjusts its oil absorption to address your skin's specific needs. So if you're new here, I have very dry skin. <laughs> so. That part to me doesn't really appeal to me. Like I'm not looking for a product that absorbs oil, but I like how it says it, it kind of adapts throughout the day, but it maintains your hydration. So I figured this could be good. We'll see. And I'm gonna be doing a wear test because I'm actually leaving my house today. So that should be interesting. And then we can see if this product actually does what it says, I guess. Although I don't have oily skin, so I'm not going to be able to comment on like the oil absorption. But we'll at least see what it looks like later on. So this does come with a spatula, but it does say to use your fingers. So I think what I'm going to do is just use the spatula to get some product out and then put it on my face, but then I will like smooth it out. And I feel like I'm not in the frame good. <laughs> I don't know if that's any better, but I'll zoom you in anyway later on. So I'm scared. Okay, so I just scrape some off the top, like so, and it is like dense. Like it's not a foundation formula, if you know what I mean. Like you have to scrape it. It's kind of like the um, e.l.f poreless putty primer kind of thing so I mean in the texture to me at least and from what I've seen I don't want to put 
a lot of this because it actually seems that it has some good coverage. So let's just do that for now. See how like, I, th I feel like this is a really good match, even though it looks dark in, in the pan. And I imagine this is something you want to close very tightly when you're not using it. Okay, so let's, let's zoom you in. So I only put that much. I put a lot up here for some reason. <laughs> let's see. Yeah, it feels like if, if this product was a like poreless primer kind of thing, I would have been like, yeah, that's exactly what it feels like. It has that like silicone-y texture. But this, this is, yeah, a really good match actually. Can you even see that? <laughs> So I have a spot here so we can see, I feel like it, it kind of covered the redness. Okay, as I blend it, like, it starts to feel like a powder, but not in a dry way. Just like, it doesn't feel as like emollient as it did when I first put it on. So let's see. So I have this big thing <laughs> that I did to myself. Oh dear. So it does cover. I mean, I would probably um, go in with a concealer on that for personally, but it did, you know, cover it up. So I can see up here, I didn't like fully put it all over. I just wanted to see how that looked, but it looks really good on my nose, which is a very good sign. It looks good on my cheeks. My chin is good. It just like up here, I don't know if you can see, well, maybe not. I felt like at first it was pilling, but I think that was maybe my dry skin. <laughs> I don't know. I did just use, a, I did just exfoliate in the shower. So maybe I shouldn't have done that on a day where I'm testing this type of product, but it doesn't look bad. I actually kind of really like this already. So let's put some more on. So that was like, that was good for here, but I feel like I need more for my five head. So just a little tiny bit though. Maybe here too. I just think this is something you wouldn't want to put tons of layers of it. I don't know, because it could get very slippery maybe. It just kind of like disappears into my skin. Is it making me look a bit dry here? Maybe, like right here. But like I said, I have dry skin and I didn't put a primer on. So yeah, next time I wear this, like not for a testing video, I would probably use a primer just to see like if it is something that works with my usual routine because I normally always wear primer and just down here I'm kind of patting it like it said you could do if you wanted to add coverage it said to pat and I think that's working this is a great match for me. I'm very happy because I <laughs> have been struggling finding matches in complexion products lately. I think I also want to use it um, on my eyelids as a primer, like it said. 
It doesn't say anything about using this as a concealer. So I'm not sure why that is. Maybe it wouldn't like set down enough to be used as a concealer. But I definitely see how it could be used as an eyeshadow primer because it honestly feels like the Urban Decay Primer Potion texture. Like a very smoothing kind of base. Yeah, my forehead definitely looks dry, but it was dry to begin with. <laughs> but yeah, I maybe would have used a primer with this product. But my skin feels like really smooth. Like I'd put a smoothing primer on, basically, with a tint. <laughs> But obviously it didn't cover this spot here and not really whoop. and these ones here you can still see them but maybe I'll put a I will use my Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin Primer uh, concealer that I use for spot concealing just to get like an even finish. So let's just see how this works on top of this product because sometimes products do not like to mix so I already have my wet sponge ready because I was wondering if I would use this um, to blend out the Danessa Myricks but it worked fine with my fingers so that's working out fine okay that's I think the best I can do I don't use this concealer under my eyes, so I'm gonna use I'm gonna use my Tarte Aqua Sealer because I'm still trying to use this up. I'm a little worried because this concealer does not like to mix with other products, so I'm really just gonna put it under my eye where I didn't put the Danessa Myricks product. Okay, that worked fine, but that's because I didn't bring the the blurring balm up to my under eye because I knew that I wasn't going to use it as a concealer. I feel like it does, like it did blur because normally right here I have more enlarged pores, at least more than anywhere else, and they look really smooth right now. I do have like redness in my skin that maybe other people would want to cover up more and I probably would also if I was like going out like to an event or something with this I would want a more even coverage but this is fine for like how I see myself using this going forward which is just like you know a little tapping here and there just to even out the skin and make it look a little more blurred so I think I'm liking this I'm gonna try and put a little more here just a tad bit and use a sponge and see what happens and maybe here because I kind of want to see how this builds and just to show you like that's all I've used so far so I'm not like digging in and getting a big glob of it I really just want like a sheer layer so let's see with the sponge what happens Okay, it does blend out with the sponge, but I think I liked it better with my fingers. But it did work. I don't know if that made any difference on camera. So my skin does look really dry on my forehead. 
but it doesn't look dry anywhere else so i'm thinking that's just because my forehead was dry like to begin with so we'll see what happens throughout the day because if this like ends up looking even more dry that won't be good i feel like that evened out my skin tone overall i'm not having the best skin day <laughs> to be testing like a you know blurring balm powder without anything else but Maybe that's a good thing so we can see like how it covers redness and all that stuff. So I think this is all I want to do right now. I'm going to do the, well, I'm going to be back later for the wear test. So I'm just going to do like a very light makeup. So I guess I'll just see you later because I don't have any other Vanessa Myricks products to try right now. I'm just going to use my like project pan items probably so yeah i will check in with you in several hours probably like and well actually it would help if i checked what time it is so it's 10 30 a.m right now so i'll probably come back like around seven or eight so that should be quite a a good wear test time yeah, I think that's all I have to say about this. I just really wanted to test it on camera because I really didn't know how <laughs> this was going to go. So I'll, I will be back later to share my final thoughts. Hey guys, so I'm just checking in. It's I think it's 2.30. So this has been on for 11, 12, 1, 4 hours now. Um, I just got home so I was outside like walking around and stuff and this is what it looks like in like in front of a window so in natural lighting. So I just took my glasses off so I have like those marks as usual but other than that, oops, <laughs> it's really hard to hold this in this angle. Um, I feel like it looks very skin-like. Like, I don't feel like it looks like I'm wearing makeup. But let's zoom in. So you can see, like, well, I did use, like, a really small amount. So the coverage, I would say, is light. Um, yeah. But look how, like, doesn't it look really smooth here? I feel like it does. I don't know, maybe when I edit it back, I'll think differently. But right now, I feel like it looks pretty good. And even like on these blemishes here that are like dry, it's not like accentuating the dryness. But let's see my forehead. Because my forehead looked really dry when I first put it on. But I feel like it's not bad. And yeah, just ignore this. <laughs> and apparently this new one. Um, but yeah, other than that, I feel like it looks pretty good. So I will check in again at the end of the day and see if there's any change. Um, and I might touch up just to see what that does. So let's see if I can add coverage, like touch up basically. Because it does say in on the Sephora app in the suggested, 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 wow, usage, um, to add sheer coverage. Um, using a tinted shade, press and roll in an even layer into textured or oily areas. So, like I mentioned before, I don't get oily so I don't have any oily areas but I would touch up like where my glasses disrupted the product so but when it says press and roll like what does it mean with your fingers I don't know but I got out my rare beauty foundation brush mostly because it's the only like cream powder I mean cream brush that's clean <laughs> and I didn't want to mess with the formula but I want to see what happens if I put my brush directly in the pan 
Like, does it pick up anything? I guess, yeah. I don't know if you can really see that. And let's try and put this right here to see if anything happens. Okay. I feel like that did something. It really, it's, it's smoothed smoothed out that whole area but you can still see like the redness from the pressure of my glasses but it did kind of re-smooth that section okay so it does like you can use it to touch up throughout the day i feel so now that i'm like in front of my mirror before I was in front of the window, I couldn't really tell. But in front of my mirror, if I look like really closely, I do see dryness on my forehead. Especially like in this area, which is normal for me. But yeah, I don't know. I feel like it is accentuating the dryness in that area. But I really like how it looks basically everywhere else. I'm especially impressed how it looks around this area because that's usually where foundations look really bad on me. Um, but this one, like, it looks pretty good. Oh, and before I did set my makeup with a setting spray, just like a, you know, the one that I'm always talking about because I'm trying to use up the um, Project Beauty Spray Set Go. This is not, I don't think it's available anymore, but it's basically like a MAC Fix Plus, like it's a glycerin heavy spray. Um, I did want to mention that I used this just in case that matters, um, but I don't feel like it changed anything. So, yeah. And this did not crease anywhere. Like, not here or around my nose, no creasing at all. So yeah, pretty um, pretty happy with this so far. I am finding that I wish this product came with like a puff maybe. Um, like although I do like, you know, the lid with the spatula, if this was a compact, like you open and there was a mirror and a poof maybe, that would be good. Cause that's how I would see me using it as a touch up. Cause like, is someone really going to take this in their purse and like use this spatula to touch up? I don't think so. <laughs> so yeah. And then it's like, well, what do you touch up with? A brush, a sponge, you know, it's a bit strange. So I'd have to keep testing this out and see how I end up liking like, see it, what technique I like the best, but I do like the effect of it for like a really quick, you know, base product. Hey guys, so I'm back for my final check-in. <laughs> the lighting is a bit weird because the sun is going down, um, but I think you can see, hopefully. I don't know what's going on here. I'm just have a lot of redness here for some reason. Well, I just ate dinner, <laughs> so yeah. Um, but I just wanted to say I don't feel like this has changed much since my first check-in. Actually, it wore really nicely. Um, it did increase in my fine lines, and it still looks really smooth around my pores. Maybe if I zoom in. This is the issue when I do check-ins. <laughs> There's never good lighting. Um, so again, the red marks are from my glasses as usual, but look how like skin-like and smooth that looks. I am actually very impressed with how this is going. For a minute there, I was a little worried that by the end of the day, 
my skin would look super dry, but it looks really nice. And I didn't even put a lot of highlighter on today. I used my Kaja Bento thing that's in my deck of panning. I used a highlighter in here and it wasn't like super intense or anything. So a lot of this glow is actually coming through the product from my like skin, I guess. So yeah, I think if you do have dry skin, you might still like this. I don't really know who this product wouldn't work for. I mean, unless you really don't want, you know, a product in this type of packaging where, you know, it's like a cream to powder type thing. But if you like to do your makeup like quickly, if you want to touch up throughout the day, if you like a more light coverage, although I do feel like you could build this to a medium coverage. I just didn't want to put a lot of product on because that's not my style. But yeah, I think it looks really good. Even up here where um, it was looking dry at first, I feel like, I don't know if it's the ingredients in this or just my like natural oils, although I don't really have <laughs> natural oils my skin is always dry but i feel like that even looks better than it did before and it's not that the product like broke down or anything it still looks very smooth and nice everywhere so i think i'm pretty happy with this i was not sure where this was gonna go but i think the next time i use it i will try to use it with a primer and see what that does if it's like too slippery or something then i'll know like this i can only use by itself but i feel like this might work with the primer too um because it is like a soft yeah it just feels soft and like it looks blurring on the skin and i quite like it actually so i'll have to keep testing it out but on my first impression and after nine hours of wearing this actually because now it's 7 30 and i had put this on at 10 30. um i still like it so yeah i will keep testing this out and update you in a future video but i think it's a good one so if you've had, if you guys have tried this let me know and let me know what kind of skin type you have because i feel like this could be good for all skin types really. I don't, maybe not super, super oily, but I wouldn't know. So please let me know if you have very oily skin and if you've tried this, how it's worked out for you. But yeah, that is my video. <laughs> the sun is directly in my face. So um, yeah, if you like this video, give it a like. And did I have anything else to say? Wait, oh. Um, I did take some notes. I was very <laughs> professional, um, but I wanted to remember um, things because actually I forgot to say in the first check-in, I actually used this um, as my eye primer. Well, I, you saw that on video, but I wanted to give you a my thoughts on that. And so at first when I had put it on, um, it did crease like, by the time I got to do my eyeshadow, it was all like creased in my crease. <laughs> but as soon as I put like, I just tapped it back out and then did my eyeshadow and it hasn't creased um, since then. And my eyeshadow still looks like it did before. So I think it works as an eyeshadow primer also, which is really good because it's like a two-in-one product. You don't have to reach for a separate eye primer when you're using this, which I like. Yeah, so because though, because it creased, I said like I wouldn't use it and not put eyeshadow on top because it's definitely, you're gonna see it. But I think, I mean, people are used to seeing creasing there if they use concealer as eye primer and everything so I don't think a lot of people would use that on their eyes and then not put eyeshadow on top but just to note so yeah I think that's all I wanted to mention if I think of anything else I'll leave a pinned comment but I think 
I mean, after nine hours, I don't really <laughs> foresee anything going wrong, you know, after this. So yeah, I hope you like this video. Um, if you did, give it a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!